But isn't that against the constitution of the PDP, like I have here, that says that, that, says that you need to uh, go through all the reconciliatory process in the party. Uh, Mr. Fan Yuba here knows that there was a committee set up after the primary okay. that's supposed to sit and hear the grievances. Yeah, did, we, did, pa we passed through all this committee, and the last committee was the NWC appeal panel on the ele uh, primary election. So we, we passed through all this, and then at the end of the day, they brought out their verdict. And then it is after the verdict that I decided to go to the media. All right. So I've, 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 I've exhausted the whole internal um, party reconciliatory mechanism. All right. but, but, but for Mr. Oluye, if you look at what has happened all of through, all of, through all of this process now, <laughs> what chances does he have in any case, in all of these cases? Because as it stands right now, it seems the party has moved forward from uh, the issue of whether or not a candidate emerge or not. Well, you know, you can't move too far from the, from the truth. As you know, the truth will overtake you <laughs> in due course, and so will the law. I mean, you've seen Amechi's case. In Amechi's case, you remember that, in fact, uh, the fraudulent uh, candidate was sworn in as governor. He was already sworn in as governor before the court gave its judgment, and yet, he was removed from that position on the basis of the court's judgment and replaced with the authentic candidate. So you can't go too far. You can't overrun, you can't outrun the truth. If there's some incident, let me take you to the Congress, which is one major problem that you have. And uh, the word in your party is that you were not quite comfortable with the manner in which the Congress went. Two governors oversaw that Congress. Why are you not happy? Well, that is even secondary. The primary is the fact that uh, Mr. Seleka Obaze did not even qualify to ab initio to be part of the contest. What he, do you mean by that? He didn't have the requ requisite uh, waiver from uh, the party. Uh, National Executive Council is the only organ of the party that can give a waiver. He had interview a, 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 a media interview. I think he granted a press to independent um, newspaper on the 6th of February this year that he doesn't even know the party he's going to use to contest the election. That is uh, almost six months ago. And the party constitution stipulates that it must be two years. And then he, he didn't have it. There was no neck, neck meeting. We had screening on the 9th and 10th of August. There was a neck meeting on the 11th. That's the last neck meeting till date. So neck did not give any, there was no mentioning of um, waiver. So how did he come in? to be part of even the primary. These are the technicality, the, the deficiencies, and the impunity that the party continue to impose somebody are you, are on the party. Are you challenging that? Oh, that's definitely. Are you in court already? De I'm going to court. That's why you see my lawyer here. I'm going to court. What will you be telling the court? Because One if the is party is not even qualified to be in that election. What Secondly, if you are not privy to the waiver? That the, the, we, are, we are running a party. You can't say that in a school, and uh, that you didn't, uh, you, ha you didn't qualify, you, you come to claim that you qualify to be in a, an exam. You know, he did not, he did not get the waiver. The, 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 the screening committee granted him provisional waiver on the, on the 10th. On the 11th, the, 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 the next start, and it was not deliberated on that 11th. Now, it's never, neck, is, neck is comprised with close to 80 people. So you think a provisional waiver is insufficient for that him is to not, run that in is the not, That is not in the constitution. He must have a waiver but from it, neck. But, but your constitution also, and then also, also, also your the constitution waiver, must, the waiver yeah. must come from the world, local government, your, the neck. Your, your constitution also stipulates that the discretion of the committee that uh, oversees the, the primary will take decision on, the, on behalf of the party. No, no. The constitution is very clear that neck is the only organ that can grant a waiver. Let us talk about the waiver. Let's talk about the primary. If you can give me a quotation in that constitution yes. that says that the neck has the power to grant waiver, then... You I think I, I Mr. Obazi is not fit to be he the wasn't, candidate he's of the not He wasn't even a candidate of... He shouldn't even have entered PDP secretariat. It seems a lot of you are not, are not comfortable with Mr. Obazi. What exactly is... I have no problem with... You think you're threatened I have, by... I have no problem with that fine gentleman. If you give it to me tomorrow, I can present him, if we have good understanding. He has what it takes to, to get in to contest for the, prim for the governorship of Anambra State. I must be fair to him. But the process that brought him is what we are. The impunity, the imposition is what we are fighting for. 
I have Who no is imposing problem. him? Dr. Pete, Mr. Peter B, and then the rest of his cohorts. And then when you can say see cohorts, that, that may be very... Uh, from the foundation, the party, everything, because it's, it's unfair for one. You have to... Go, we've gone to the party, told the party, gave the party the whole, Let me the show whole you information. This. Let me show you this. You were... During the primaries, uh, 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 the primary of the, in the governorship race, this is what happened. You wanted to speak at all costs when uh, the, the votes were cast and the votes were going to be announced. And I did see this over and over again. And I was wondering what exactly was happening before the microphone was taken away from you. Well, uh, Governor Omahi, I commanded his uh, oddly to take your microphone away from me. When I was, I went to him, I told him, can I have access to the ballot papers? Because it was written, so that I can look at the whole ballot papers. He said no. I said, okay, can I have a look at the list of delegates? Because there is a leak of INEC monitor delegates. And as I'm talking to you today, we have the two lists. It's in INEC. All right. Uh, we need to round up this conversation at this segment now. Just uh, in 30 seconds, Mr. Ifan Yuba, what is your next step of action? Uh, over the weekend, we, we, saw in the, we saw a report that some members of ABGA are asking you to come over. Are you leaving the PDP? No, I'm not leaving PDP. I Even want when to, you stand so no, 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 I want to. I, want, I won't leave PDP because I have invested and I'm mostly in PDP. So it is up to PDP to take a decision on me. But for me, I'm in PDP. I am aggrieved. I have gone through the party resolution mechanism, and now I'm going to the court. Okay. Mr. Oliade, just as we close now, as a lawyer, what would you advise your client or the party, the PDP? Uh, well, uh, the PDP is not too late to retract from this well-known path that has led the party to defeat after defeat. It's time for PDP to retract from illegality and start doing things right. Okay.